A growing number of states have legalized medical marijuana, and Pennsylvania lawmakers are now considering doing the same. Supporters call medical marijuana humane, but opponents say it's just a stepping stone to legalizing the drug entirely. KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan is here with more. Andy? Well, that's right, Christine. Those opponents say making marijuana legal for medical use will open up the floodgates and make it more readily available to everyone. But those who say that they benefit from marijuana say they're being forced to break the law just to get the medication that they need. I've been using medical marijuana. I haven't had any seizures, and I think it's been like two years. When Robert suffered a head injury and developed blackout seizures, prescribed medications either didn't help or left him with debilitating side effects. That all changed when he began purchasing and smoking medical marijuana. And there would be a security at the door. They would look at your card, look it up, they would buzz you in. In Washington state, where medical marijuana is legal and where Robert lived until recently, he had a medical prescription card and could buy marijuana from any of a number of so-called compassion centers, like the one seen here. But since moving to southwestern Pennsylvania, Robert, a husband and father of two, must get his pot illegally. It's making me break the law, and I'm not a lawbreaker. Now you go to, through the black market and you're supporting a drug dealer that's turning right around and selling it to children or you don't know what's going on. The state legislature is now seriously considering making marijuana a prescription drug for people like Robert with specific medical conditions. But opponents say it will make pot more available to everyone. In many ways, it, it's a joke. Uh, almost anybody who wants marijuana can, can get it and uh, it's under the uh, you know, the umbrella of medical use. Dr. Neil Capretto of the Gateway Rehabilitation Institute says despite a widely held belief to the contrary, marijuana is an addictive and potentially dangerous drug that should be controlled. But he says that legalization of medical marijuana has opened up the floodgates in states like California. In California, the number one, if not one of the top reasons people are prescribed marijuana is for stress. Well, you can open up, I mean, almost everybody qualifies for, for, for that uh, diagnosis. Medical marijuana is now legal in 14 states, but unlike California, where marijuana businesses have been popping up like taco stands, many of those states report success in keeping the drug regulated. Pittsburgh attorney Patrick Nightingale heads the local chapter of, of Normal, treatment. the national organization for the reform of marijuana laws, which wants to make pot legal for all citizens of age. But it has taken a lead role in support of medical marijuana. We have been told time and time again from medicinal users in Pittsburgh, in Butler County, in Beaver County, in Washington County, that they uh, derive significant relief for uh, for multiple sclerosis, for AIDS-related conditions, for nausea associated with, associated with uh, chemotherapy, for chronic pain. Uh, people who are not interested in being able to, you know, sit in the park and smoke a joint and throw a Frisbee. People who believe that they derive significant medical benefit. Robert, for one, opposes the blanket legalization of marijuana, but oh, says he yeah, and others with medical law. conditions not should not be denied. I mean, I don't break the laws. I, I'm forced to do this to get my medication. Now, there are two medical marijuana bills in front of the legislature, one before the House and the other before the Senate. And according to polls, they do have the support of a majority of Pennsylvanians. We'll let you know how they progress. Christine, Ken, back to you. Andy, thanks.